Hi, I'm Chris Moore, Vice President of Engineering here at iX Systems, and I'm thrilled to be taking some time today to personally bring you some exciting information about upcoming changes to FreeNAS, the world's number one open source storage software. First, I'd like to bring everyone up to speed on where we are right now. As most of our users already know, we've recently launched version 11.3, and we're thrilled to see such a quick adoption of this new version. We've also been hard at work in the lab on 12.0, which is going to bring with it many new ZFS features, including native crypto, vectorized checksums, ZFS user and group-based quotas, and of course a variety of new performance improvements. What many of you may not know is how FreeNAS gets built, supported, and keeps on moving forward. IX Systems is the organization behind this huge effort, and we're proud FreeNAS fans in every way. To help meet the needs of our customers and to support the great team behind FreeNAS, iX has offered many different products ranging all the way from a 4-bay FreeNAS mini platform all the way up to TrueNAS M series with its support for a variety of configurations including all flash and up to 10 petabytes of usable storage on a single unit. Up until now, TrueNAS, the software, has always been built on top of FreeNAS, which brings with it a rock-solid open source base for us to build all of our enterprise products. While this relationship has been beneficial to both products, it does come with some efficiency drawbacks to both the engineering and quality aspects of the software life cycle. In particular, it's been required for us to maintain multiple code repositories and perform two sets of QA testing for each separate edition of the software. Not to mention all the ancillary activities around it, like maintaining two sets of documentation for pretty much the same product, multiple forms of similar content under each name, and the list could go on. After much internal debate and deliberation, we've decided to take some bold new steps in 2020 to help reduce this friction and provide a more streamlined experience for our customers and users of both platforms. I'm pleased to announce that starting with the upcoming 12.0, we will begin to unify the two software packages into a single image, which will be under the name TrueNAS, with TrueNAS Core assuming the FreeNAS mantle and TrueNAS Enterprise succeeding TrueNAS. In other words, FreeNAS and TrueNAS, as they're constituted today, will be available as the same software image, all from a single download. When you're using an iX-supported hardware platform, such as the TrueNAS M series, you'll be able to run the full TrueNAS Enterprise experience, which includes things such as high availability, enclosure management, and of course, proactive support. FreeNAS users, on the other hand, will have the exact same NAS experience as before. There will be a name and logo change, but nothing about your core NAS functionality has really changed in any way. TrueNAS Core is still fully open source and supports all the same features that you know and love today. Aside from logging into the user interface and seeing the new logo and the TrueNAS name, you may not even notice. Because we're also big FreeNAS fans, we're even including a special FreeNAS retro theme, which will allow you to keep running with the original tried and true FreeNAS Shark logo. All this said, we're really excited for the efficiency gains this transition brings to the software, the documentation, and just the wealth of community knowledge that is surrounding both FreeNAS and TrueNAS. This also frees up some additional IX engineering team cycles to keep working on some new and exciting software products we've got cooking up in the labs at the moment, which I'll look forward to sharing more about in the upcoming months, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and let us know what you think on our community forums, and we look forward to further discussion with you online.